<laughs> the office. Yeah, I know. She she's a psycho she's a psychotic psychologist. Yeah. Yeah. So in in the real world, like as in she's like a real world, well, real world derivative of Harley Quinn. <laughs> and I mean, because Har Harley Quinn also has a girlfriend, so. It's at that point that Doc Fulton realizes that in the new superhero universe, he's Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pull a Ryan Reynolds and get out of the DC and go to Marvel, because clearly they're better. I just got to mm -hmm. find my other superhero. I've done my Green Lantern. I need to do something better now. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Both of you guys reduce your hand by one, please. Yeah. I'm giving cards uh, on the slide for going. clever shit. Everyone immediately discards all their cards and does not refill their hand. Yes. Damn it. I had seamanship. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like a submarine full of semen. <laughs> And I'll put the replenish on top. Clever. Well, at the rate at the rate you guys discuss smart shit, cards should be yours soon. Please just keep an eye on your hand. So if it goes over, uh, at yep, 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 six, then. So Alex has become affiliated with White now. That is very interesting. Were you aware of that, Doc? Yes, I was actually. Okay. I did not know he was with Brown. He must have. Um, Got, became with Brown when he was with The Rock and such, because I believe The Rock is Brown now as well. The Rock? I'm not familiar with The Rock. Well, we have so many rooms here in this place. The Rock lives in one of them. He's oh, okay. someone, He's a part of the entourage, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, like, okay. Now, well, um, Alex became affiliated with Brown when he was with me and Mildred. Ah, okay. And Hence what, what do you know about, about the room always... with... The room with uh... uh I think Chris? he froze. The sword. Yes. Uh, you froze up, he, Chris. You might want to start in. over because your internet seems to be going to shit, Chris. Something about the no. No. You're not understandable. You may wish to take extreme measures, Chris, because your internet is it's probably catching up, but uh, the sword is all about. Yeah. Oh. Am I back now? Yes. Yes. Okay. You, the fit I caught about the room with the sword, and that was it. Okay, so the room with the sword. Do you know about it? Do you know what's going on there? You're talking no? about the Hyperborean sword that's there to kill um, Zog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I that's, found the picture. That's all I know about it, and the fact that Alex pulled the sword out. So did you go to the future ancient prison? No. Okay. All we did was we went there. Um, Mildred discovered she could read Hyperborean. We read, she read, told us what it said, and Alex, and we thought, screw waiting around. Let's just take the sword with us, and Alex brute forced it, and then we left. So... Uh, real quick, uh, I found the picture, but instead of Bill Murray, it's Doc Fulton, since I don't have any good pictures of Doc Fulton, and I'm not Andy Warhol. Here you go. Excuse me. I'll put it on the roll 20 so you can see. There you go. Yep. So, do you know how Alex managed to break his link with Brown and establish one with White then? No, I was not around for that. All I know okay. is that... Um... Oh, so, and Logan, you're not going to run the, the thing that I did with the governor, right? Correct. Go ahead. Okay. Well, no, wait, that doesn't have anything to do with this, but mm. White... Yeah. I did see White, and uh, White... Um... 
I went and talked to White at the embassy. I went and and I didn't see the I didn't see Danielle, but I saw one of the others, and they do have some kind of power over the whole talenting, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, right, because the you were there. Is, that. But um, no, I wasn't. Well, I was. I had a meeting with a white representative. Mildred and I had a meeting with a white representative, and we got some information out of her before Mildred insulted her. And I explained to Mildred that it might what potentially is would be in Mildred's best interest to help her girlfriend. And unfortunately Mildred couldn't catch up with the girl to apologize in time. Yeah. Uh, but I, I Chris knows quite a bit about the all seeing sisterhood. So it sounds sounds like you've had a had you've had further meetings with the I've had seeing. a run in with the ass. <laughs> you've had a run in with them. So it hasn't been all friendly. Oh no! Well, it was a friendly chat. I went into the, I went into the ass to talk with them, so I could find out more about the ass and what mm -hmm. they were all about. <laughs> you should have seen Chris's. Oh, uh, you uh, maybe in the future you will see Chris's face when he was discussed when he was having the uh, talk with the priestess. He was losing it. So Whoever his phone is going, ba ding! Please uh, make it not go, ba ding! So was it SD Bloomingfell that you were talking with or somebody else? No, it was someone in the ass, a different person. Well, Jesus fucking Christ. Kill it. Send it back to hell. Because SD Bloomingfell was who we were told to talk to if we wanted to talk more about White. Um, I'm just trying to find the name of the person who turned up. Uh, Sally Ryan was the person that was the um, representative of White who turned up at the house. That we chatted to. All right, hold on. I'm looking through my notes. Unfortunately, I now have notes from another game in here too, so I have to try to keep them <laughs> separate. Wow, I I had gotten a different notebook. Well, let me jump in my car and go figure that one out. <laughs> uh. Oh, and before I forget, here's a bracelet for you. Okay. What's the bracelet about? Um, oh. It is a cross-dimensional phone. Oh, beautiful. I was wondering if we'd ever work out how to do that. Is it considered a magic item or anything of that? Do I have to worry about it? With magic item goes bye-bye card, for example. I have no clue. I don't think so because I've never had to worry about my ray gun. So okay, it's a technological device. Yeah. Yes, or something. Cool. Where'd you get the bracelet from? Uh, Zog showed me how to get get them. Ah. <laughs> Does Pete know who Zog is? No, only in regards to the sword. Talked mm. about Zog. Good. Then you've got all the information you need. So you can't recall who it was you spoke to? I'm sorry, what was that? You were looking as to who it was you spoke to. In regards I didn't to... write it down. I, I, it, That's right. No one important. White person, number three, whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Um, so what, what was your take on what white is all about? I'm not sure, but they seem... They don't seem as malicious as Indigo. That's for sure. Um, no. Neither does Brown. Brown just kind of like exists so far, it yeah. seems. Yellow has to do with magicians, and it jumps to whoever is closest. They seem kind of chaotic. Okay. Uh, supposedly, magic users seek out 
yellow for its arcane power. Okay. Eh, I don't know what that's all about. So, but that just means that. Uh, but Batman is yellow now, so what can you do? Uh, oh, Batman is now yellow. Okay. Yeah, it's not like you can. I guess you can't fully destroy yellow, or you need to kill the source for it to not jump anymore. I don't know much about that right now. That's mm-hmm. as far as that's gone. So. Okay. And he is not directly against me, even though because he knows. Like I've talked, I've spent some time with Batman and all. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> so was he a vampire? Shower together. <laughs> so was he a vampire? Yeah. Yes. Yes, definitely so, a vampire. <laughs> so he was one of the ones behind the killings. Yes, but that's why he's killing bad people. Yeah, he's just killing. Yeah, yeah, he's focused on which, bad people, which is fine. I figure let him do his thing. He's, he's, he's not. He's not a bad, bad guy. He's just yeah, the yeah. evil that feeds upon the greater evil. Which yeah, I yeah, yeah. Using his abilities to wreak vengeance on bad people. Because I'm Batman. <laughs> so. From our disc- from Mildred's and my discussion with a representative of Ars, um, apparently they're about bringing better art, um, the about the great game and the purification of the master. But they're, they're, the great game, their two things is either acting or s- music. And so people who are either involved in acting or music have the talent. No other forms of art. They don't seem to be particularly interested in any other forms of art. They're the two ones. And they don't tend to, apparently, it's a bit of a no-no to cross over, not to cross over, but, you know, to fight someone from the different stream as such. And we've got 30 copies of The King in Yellow. 28 now, actually. 28? Oh, two more have gone, have they? All yes. Right. I'm afraid the disappearing book card has made its uh, appearance. That's right. But yeah, yes. I, I know you don't mind. No, that's the whole purpose of them is... Uh, figure out where they're being kept just in case uh, bad people want to break in and get them. Mm-hmm. And let yes. me know so I can have bad people break in and get them. And try and get them, yeah. yeah. But yes, yeah, so I've been hanging on to them because if we actually do find another book, these things will act as a buffer, like oh, the Dakota rings. Right. By the way, um, uh, they took pictures of it and showed you the pictures. Both of you take cards, something else I forgot. Apparently, one of the back seats from one of your vehicles that uh, the studio gave you was ripped out of the uh, car and put partway through one of your uh, front windows of your house, uh, and a police ticket for littering on it uh, was left, and the Housing Neighborhood Association also to, also ticketed saying your mansion looked like a mess. Uh, this was later removed and uh, uh, fixed up, draining yet more of Chris's money. Do we and, have security uh, cameras out the front of the house? Uh, not yet. No, you have absolutely no home security other than swords because it makes it makes it messy if you've got tapes of shit. Also, yep. uh, another another side note: both of you got your card for these side notes. In the basement, four new big freezers capable of holding two to three bodies each have been installed. Brand new, all of them plugged in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> not sure who did that but uh um uh, word is that it may have been uh the crazy lady with the weird last name i'll be right back yeah <laughs> Oh, and also they had uh, found uh, various notes pete on the uh, car saying don't use this card has a bomb in it okay 
Um, but they they uh, had people come out and check them, and they, none of them did. Okay, they didn't find any bombs. No, well they they found they they found residue of bombs, like there used to be bombs on there, and then the bombs were removed. And oh, okay. so, but the notes were then left for reasons. And also, uh, you get to find out very easily because it's still all over social media and stuff. Uh, Alex Kinley's big breakout role was uh, the film Opposites Attractive. Okay. Yeah, that was the movie he was in. It was a uh, uh, romantic comedy. Um, the uh, The Rock uh, uh, with the handlebar porn star mustache. Uh, he was the bad guy who wanted the girl but didn't get her. And another guy named Phil starred as uh, Alex's second best friend. Pretty minor part. He did okay. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah, that that's some of the local news of the world. But I'm totally good with you guys spending time briefing each other because much has happened. Yes, it appears so. Yeah, and even more has happened. Yes. So yeah. Well, that's the thing with other people running around doing stuff as well. Oh, I love I love that there are multiple groups now all affecting each other and shit. I wish I was a lot smarter and had a lot better memory because then my campaign would be a lot more complicated and dangerous. <laughs> well, I suppose with, with it changing, I mean, because originally you wanted each group to be a particular mm -hmm. group, that way you could run the same stuff. Yes, well, I still can sometimes, but then yeah. sometimes I can't. So Yeah, but unfortunately, yeah, due to the nature of people having lives and work and families and that? other responsibilities. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Family, life, work. Hard. All these things should be cut out in order to get mm -hmm. maximum gaming. In. And that's what Chris did when he was disguised as Robin and Batman said, mm, you look mighty good in those shorts, boy. So. <laughs> so there you go. All right. So Alex somehow managed to presumably leave Brown and become a member of White without dying. Weird. Oh, by the way, Chris, you know that as a member of Indigo's mm, staff, that should you die, all that goes away. He may or may not choose to take you back, but or or he may not may or may not even recognize you, but you know. It, how how Alex managed to pull that off. Plus, if you die, you lose all your talent. Hence, what the fuck is going on? No, interesting. Yeah, so don't die, or you'll lose your talent. Hmm. Yeah. There you go. And now back to the briefing. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh, so... shit. There was also a, block of, a large block of C4 left in front of the basement door with a note on that saying, go away, don't touch this, as well as a uh, barbed spear leaning against the uh, door thing. If you guys wanted <laughs> to take the C4 and or the barbed spear, fine. Although the barbed spear is a bit awkward to carry around. It's like, I'm going harpooning later. I need this. So, <clears throat> Lopan's taken care of. Yes. Uh, the vampires is Batman. So, that's fine. He, he's fine. He's good. Uh, the uranium and cyber and uh, cyberpunk, taken oh, care yeah. of. Okay. Nice. You managed uh, to find a way of looking into it with without the hassle of the police and stuff. Kind of. Uh, the pallid mask, <laughs> taken care of. Yes, yes. Also taken care of in Cyberpunk. Ah, I, was, I didn't realize it was also in Cyberpunk. Hmm. 
so then we have the white eyes that um, these are the things that I was all that I wanted to look into. White eyes, taken care of. We're like, mm -hmm. well, not take care of, but like, we found out about them. Alex is a part yeah. of them, so mm -hmm. he'll either tell us a little bit more or he won't. We shall see. I haven't seen him in a bit. Yep, as I said, last I saw of him, he was brown. So the fact he's white now is surprising. Sewers is going to be an ongoing thing, clearly. Um, yes, I think so. <laughs> Mildred's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, Mildred hasn't been around very much to, to yes. help with her girlfriend, but she's still in the wind as far as I know. Do you know anything yeah, about so, her? Yeah, um, so Alex, Mildred, and I went across to Cyberpunk when Alex was brown via the sewers and to try and we thought and to try and get hold of the girlfriend because Mildred hadn't seen her for a while and she was in uh Las Vegas apparently the job there that Cannonball Run or whatever it was thing that she was doing was a setup and she was hmm. in the middle of a gunfight in um Las Vegas um so we did a we did a job which netted a bit of money um Yakuza that owed quite a bit of gambling money. We managed to do that without bringing down the wrath of the Yakuza on us. In fact, assisting a Yakuza person, a Yakuza lieutenant in the process. And Alex did what Alex does when there's women involved. So, um, yes. Hence my question about the cyber money, because I've got several hundred grand of cyber credits now. Enjoy. Um, yeah, so... Now that, yeah, and, and, and we just thought, oh, beautiful, now Alex will be able to bring... Mildred's girlfriend over without an issue, but since he's white now and not brown. I'm sure he's still got a brown eye somewhere. Yes. Oh, and that was something else we learned about white, which I don't know if you you may have worked it out, but basically the, the gift that white gives you is that um, no matter what realm you're in, um, the whole healing and damage and all that sort of stuff, Hmm. It works elsewhere, not just here. The taking of the talent from an actor, no idea. That would be something interesting to experiment with. Hello, are you an actor? Why, yeah. <laughs> Decapitation. <laughs> or it just has, or whether or not it's just because white's dominant here and parts of, parts of, I'll say her, uh, in because this being the sisterhood, um, are infused in the actors and the musicians. And that potentially could be an issue if you get if you become got get too much talent. You may become an avatar of white. It occurs to me. Hmm. Oh, which is probably why, as we get more talent, they want to recruit us more. Yes, and the whole thing about um, and all the power that does go around is white. Isn't the it? purification, the whole the thing about the purification of the master, which is something that Sally mentioned. So you, as you get more talent, the talent, you know. The form of white becomes more pure within you. Hmm. So. But yes, uh, the representative of white said they were, even though we, are, you and I are male, they were interested in us at the time. This is before your discussion with them, so things may have changed. At that time, they were interested in recruiting us and making an exception. I think partly because we're travellers. They seem quite interested in the fact... They, they were aware that we were travellers and that they were quite interested in... Those, I think they weren't aware of just how well travelled we are 
or can be or are able to do so. So yes. Um, so is there any loose threads in this world at the moment? It sounds like you've taken care of pretty much all of them that I'm aware of. Besides the sewers... Yeah, besides putting the sewers aside, as that's a multi-world thingy. Right. Um, there is not much going on here anymore. Uh, yep. Yeah. About the only thing we could potentially do if we care about our staff is try and look into our driver, Delma, and see if she's all right. Well, she and did go off with... Mildred. With Mildred, so... Yeah. She's probably dead. <laughs> well, I was I was thinking, do we first check do we first check the um freezers in the basement? Yeah, let's go oh. check the freezers and see if our drivers in there. Yes. We go down and check the freezers. There's You've got there. a problem. Some asshole yeah. is taking your car and left in it for some reason. You don't know we who would cab. do such a thing. Oh, we right. You guys catch a cab. cab. No problem. The cab driver chats at you guys for a while, and eventually uh, uh, you pay your $60, your home, um, and uh, he goes away happy and shit. Somebody pay. I don't care who. And um, you go down. You pretty much troop in. Everybody begins swarming around Chris like fucking locusts trying to eat the, uh, the the succulent crops that is his money. Doc Fulton ignores these people and marches into the basement. Oh, yeah. I... No I'll problem. Agree. No problem. They all stop at the basement door because if you if you go over and look at the basement and see a pound of C4 or whatever amount sitting in front of it, you generally get the fucking hint. You guys march down there and look in the freezers. Shocking, shockingly, and it's almost a sandy roll, but they're all empty. You guys recoil in existential dread, wondering what kind of cruel shit is going on. They're all on, they're all cold, but they're all empty. Ah, you say. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, something. Did you ever look into the tattoo that the? Or I assume you're aware of the tattoo that the various crew members have on them. I have not noticed this. Have you not? Seems to be some sort of organization or some sort of guild. From the little bit of research I did into it, at the time way back before other things came up it was a circle with dots and then it was uh, like um, oh wait wait and then symbolic symbolic wing almost look like symbolic wings or something rings a bell Just rough like that, right? Yep, 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 yep. Well, that, that's what I, that's what I had drawn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! It's actually the ass. If you no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Yeah. So then, did you ever work out what that was about, if anything? No. Um, and those are all tattoos. All the ones I saw were tattoos. We could do just research on that alone and see if that's yeah. out there. Like, who designed that? Like, because if it's a popular enough tattoo and people, all these workers are getting it, maybe 
It's a thing. We could also check all the staff in and this building to see if they've got said tattoo. Since it was the various production staff that had it on the set of Handy Show. And but it wasn't all of them from memory. This is going back months and months. It was just some of the crew that had it on their arm. Be, be sure to be checking your cards to make sure you don't get any. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, I was just thinking about things that had come up and. Mm -hmm. Oh, check in essence. Written in a completely different writing to the other ones. Yes. Bastard looks like fonts. You, looks like you had bold on when you did that one. Bastard fonts. Um, do you have a retrieve card or anything? No. Hello. Getting a check in essence. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll play the check in essence. And bang. And we haven't done our daily spell casting either, but that's something else. I was going to say, you guys are alone in the basement. Uh, you can. This is actually a really good time to do so. Do what you mm -hmm. want, right? Yep. Bear right back. I'm going to hit the restroom while you guys go. Bring, bring, bring. Yes. Away. Uh, willpower. That one's done for the day. Uh oh. Oh, nice. What was that on? Oh, that is a crit on phase, which means I get the next Perfect. one. Which was there one? I think that might be blank. Uh, where was the? post about gate and time chain there it is i know set bind point self is the next one oh no because it are you up to phase in that chain are you because that yes that all right yeah because i think i've got did i get set bind point self that might be the next one yeah the set bind point it's uh, slow time, then sent bind point self, sent bind point other, phase, phase other, blink, to be determined, teleport, to be determined, group teleport. Unless Logan's changed the game. Because he moved phase because he thought it was too powerful to be a beginning spell. I agree that's rather powerful. That's like all I cast to make sure it's going. Well, I mean, it's a it's a one shot. It's only one round, but yeah. But yes, it is the first one I attack just simply because I'm interested in that school. So I critted phase slogan. So what's the next in the chain? Um, none until you build up to phase. I have phase. No, I mean um, phase became a higher level spell, right? Right. So you have to fill. You have to backfill first, then you can advance. And this is time and. Uh, let me check. Slow, yeah. Let's see, magic, magic, magic. There it is. Mm, gate and time. Is that it? Are you the one? Yes. Um, let's see. Uh, slow time, set bind point, uh, self, set bind point, other. That'll be P. Uh, then phase. Once you once you get all those, once you get those air spells, then you'll get the next. Uh, one up from phase. So 
instead, since we switched phases, phase would be level one. Would you give me level one of whatever? Uh, you you should already have slow time. No. Yeah. Because phase I, used to be the first level. Yes, I, I'd sent out a message on the uh, ATAW boards that uh, if you had uh, the phase, now you have slow time at uh, learn. Oh. So here, I will copy paste and then read it out for the studio audience. This is your new first level spell. Da, 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 da. I like to hide really fucking useful information that directly affects you on the uh, ATAW boards because I'm really insecure about not enough people reading them. So slow time, casting time one round, range self, duration three rounds, magic point cost is a mighty eight. As Pete That's says, it's a very expensive wow. spell. Yeah. All combat skills are plus 10 because, hey, time is slow, dodge to hit, etc. cetera. Uh, this bonus stacks, but only with other spells that do not affect time. It's quite a useful spell, but hard to build up. Mm. Unfortunately. But, I was going to say, the spell after that could be very useful, and the one after that, very useful, and then phase, and then... So well, on. I'm actually up to set bind point. I've already got I've got set bind point self. Cool. But I have not got set bind point other yet. Uh. But it's that thing of do I cast dagger trick or do I cast this spell? Yes. At the moment, dagger trick takes preference. Yep, yep. I like that it's a pain in the ass to build up spells. Oh yes. You always have. Yes. But now this is this is also a neat spell system, and you guys are okay until after Ooh, crit like on the um, once on the once you build back up to phase, then for the next two spells you're okay, and then there's a big ugly to be determined, and then I a good been... spell, and then another to be determined. Well, some, something I didn't see in there that I thought would potentially be in that line is something along the lines of read gate, read gate or. Hmm. Which basically allows you to determine a where the gate goes to, and potentially, depending, you could have it equivalent to an evidence analysis, but purely for gates. Mm. You know, that, no, has I like there been that. A, has there been a gate here, or you know that sort of thing, or where does this gate go to, or has anybody used this gate recently? You know, blah 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 blah, all that sort uh, of stuff. I, I don't know if I want to give out that, but just knowing where the gate goes to and how many magic points of any it takes could be very useful. Yeah, yeah. Well, if, even the basic stuff like that. But I was just thinking, even you know, uh, make a note. You have just invented that spell, so as soon as you pick up uh, the one after uh, or two, there's phase, then spell, spell, and then yeah, yeah. Your new spell. phase, phase, other blink. To be determined, teleport, That's, to be yes, determined, group teleport. Well done. I'm putting this on the first to be determined. Yep, because you posted it in the forums. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Hence why I know what, what it is. Uh, when when, reading, when you just... reordered it, you posted the whole chain. Got it. Uh, what's, what's yes, Chris ignored that, you bastard. What's another, another uh, title instead of read gate? What would be instead of read... Gate evidence analysis. Mm. No. Um, identify gate because it tells identify... of it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm. Parentheses made by peak. Because that was when when I originally got that, I thought hopefully there's something in here that allows you to, you know, read yeah. gates, get inf get more information from a gate. Ah, I just figured out something else. And the 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 ninth one, the other thing I was thinking of is potentially whether or not you could actually change where the gate was pointing to, whether or not like. Being like a ninth level or a tenth level version thing, like you uh, know this gate is, you know this gate is going to the village, maybe, for example. Yeah. I don't want to go to the village. I will, I will pour magic and either temporarily change it to go 
to blah. You know, it's sort of thing the elves did. With their the game. Oh, yeah, the yeah, elves yeah, changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Elves, elves changed where their gate went. Um, got it. Is it. I mean, this is the only way, this is the only place I could see something like that being in. Besides meta in. game magic, met, met, meta ability that they have that the PCs can't get. Because it requires multiple people to pour magic points into it or something. Uh, or what they did. Um, what was I doing? I was making... Can't do it anymore. And, of course, it's the second ought one I've rolled, and both times it was on my willpower roll. I hate that. Yep. Well, that was an easy two spells. Um, yeah. Chris, uh, or Pete, uh, when you eventually get up to these spells, there you go. Mm-hmm. And I've copy pasted them for you. I will read them out to the audience because otherwise I will get hate mail. Uh, both of these made by Pete. First is identify gate, uh, casting times five rounds, range three meters, duration instantaneous, cost two magic points. Uh, you need a, uh, I'm adding, you need a, an active gate to Cast this. So it's easy yet hard to practice, depending. Um, tells you where the gate goes to, how to open it, um, and magic point cost. I was going to say the, the thing about how to open it, if it's an active gate, doesn't it mean it's already open? No. Um, or you mean, a, 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 as in, it's a, there is something there that can be activated. Yeah, Logan's created the realm is a very good way of saying active gate. Like, for example, the one in the warehouse that uh, needed to be opened with a certain stimulus. Yeah, only, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, an yeah. active gate, although it's yeah. not being yeah, able to yeah, yeah. I understand what you mean now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then reorient gate, casting time 24 rounds, range 3 meters, duration sun up, sundown, magic point cost 16. Allows the caster to change where the gate is going to. Note the caster must have already been to where the gate will go to. The gate is reoriented until the duration ends. Good? Mm-hmm. Cool. I feel bad for Scott. He tried really hard to make uh, uh, new spells. And, yeah. But, uh, they were a bit overly powered and D&D-like. So. <laughs> spells better. Okay, I managed to get one spell to work today. Hooray. And you, lucky listener, have gotten to sit through Making Spells with Joshua McKay. Da, 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 da. Oh, by the way, something for you guys to know, because you're both fucking spellcasters and shit. Like, um, the chain doesn't necessarily have to go one, two, three, four, five, six. It can go one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven. So in other words, it can have multiple shit going off of it. Of yeah, course, yeah. If, there, if there gets to be enough, then I'll just make a second chain. I'll completely split the chain once there's enough. Or 
even half enough and then leave it to, for people to fill in and stuff like that. Um, because yeah, there's a lot of spells that can be worked on still. And I've got a choice of either spending three months working on fucking detailed complex plot and letting you bet you guys, uh, you bastards work on the spells or I can fucking get sucked into working on spells and then you won't have any plot. So it's going to suck for you. So pretty much up to the players to work on the spells. So um, other than that for loose ends, the only things I have that I'm interested in doing, mm -hmm. well, not that I'm not interested in doing anything whatsoever, but the things that I've written down for um, was the, the last two things are the, Doxa Cora block, which is meh, you oh, know, yes, whatever. Yes, yes. Um, it's an interest because it's come up, but mm -hmm. it's not... actually I wouldn't worry about that one because it didn't. I think it ended up getting yanked from the drug trial market due to some side effect or whatever. Too much bleeding from the pores or some shit. Okay, so don't forget your movie though. I mean, that'll take just a few rolls and shit, but. Get mm -hmm. it? Rolls? Movie rolls? <laughs> Movie rolls. Other than that, the tarot cards. I really want to yes. know about these tarot cards. Yes. And I think That's, the best that place to look exactly. that up would be Furryville. That, so, do you know... So, beside... I'll start again. The one, one of the things with the tarot cards that I was lacking information on is did people have stuff turn into tarot cards where they've gone to other locations? Or has it just been when people have gone to Beastkin world? See, I don't remember. Unfortunately, can I have a memory roll to find to remember when they changed, Logan? Yours changed the same time my changed is when we went to the Beastkin world. So that that's why. Okay, see, that's what I thought, we, which is why I wanted yeah. to go there to do the research on them. Yeah, yeah. When we created, when we did the gate up in you know the full moon or whatever it was in the hill, that's out of the book. And we crossed over, and when we first went into the Beastkin world, that's when they changed. Well, it appears that uh, your memory roll was successful. <laughs> um, but as to, but yes, I'm, I'm very curious as to other people if they've had. Oh, and the other thing I was cu interested in trying to do is experiment: is if we go and take credit cards and go to the Beastkin world, do they change into additional tarot cards? Actually, you, it was, you, I think you've been to the Beast Ken world with credit cards on you since, haven't you? I not really, no. Ah, well. It's my Don't wanting you. to experiment with because hmm. I keep waking up there from different locations or <laughs> went to the village and then came, I went to the village from there and then came back there from the village. Um, so I didn't have any credit cards on me. Okay. And I haven't, and I haven't been there since. To ascertain, yeah. But yes, I don't know if if it's just we just get the three cards, or if there's more, if you go across with other cards. But as you said, yeah, it might be worth Actually, going over there. Can go. I see your cards right quick? Yeah, sure. Now, what card? Your cards. You have different cards than me, correct? Yes. Uh, let me try and find where I wrote it down. Uh, San Angeles time and uh, library. Oh, Adding sixty five of ones, eight of ones, ten of swords. Was the three cards I got? So Logan, I take his cards and I put mine with his. And shuffle them up and like focus my essence on it. Does it feel like they're supposed to be together? Type Give of thing? me an essence roll. Hmm. <laughs> Times two. Yes. Take a check in essence. Hmm. You a little voice in your head goes, This must mean something. 
okay. right under one. And yes, it is proper that they are together. But why? Who? Where? How? Here, I will give these to you as you Thank seem you. to see the rest of uh, our merry band of weirdos more than I do. <laughs> you feel a chill as though somebody's walked over your grave, McKay. Oh, wait, no, that's just realizing you'll meet up with the other party members later. It's also, I think, a good idea to go to... I still think we should go to Furryville to do research on it and see what else we can find out mm -hmm. about this stuff. Yeah. Because other than the cards... I ha we have the tarot cards. The uh, tattoo. The tattoo, which we can do research on before we bounce. Yep. But the tattoo is, I don't think, nearly as important as the cards. Oh, and did you resolve the battery issue? No, and I'm not sure where to find said battery. No, not, I suspect that from the places we currently are for me aware of, I don't know. I mean, we tried the alien battery, and that seemed to be a no-no. So, well, I've given it another battery that like made it happy, but it it wasn't what it was looking for. It's like, mm, okay. okay, but not quite what I wanted. I was like, oh, well, you know, it's something. Hmm. You can do it. I, I do like how that when we are close to the end of the season, you guys have gotten much of your shit wrapped up. That's very, very cool. <laughs> yes. I, I, yeah. Don't worry. I've got, I've already got some fucked up plans for next season and shit that I'm pretty excited about. I have no idea if you guys will be excited. Actually, you're both wizards, so you may be really excited about some of them. I'm not really a wizard. It's just I just keep happening to learn more magic. Yes, exactly. Most of most of it, I'm very bad at. Yes, I didn't say you were a good wizard. <laughs> I don't know why you're such a lot rotten wizard, but you know, there you go. How the issue is, my lowest stat is essence. Ah. Hence, well, hence. see, the more you cast, the higher it gets. Yeah, it hasn't worked out that way so far. <laughs> My essence is the only stat that has not gone up. Hmm. Do you have a sword trick on yourself? Um, I practice dagger trick every day. It's actually my highest spell now. Counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. That's oh, Wait, you 90, got counters... was a ninety-two a fumble, Chris? Yeah, I was gonna no, say, that is that was the willpower roll. Oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> Counter spell. <laughs> I'm surprised you got so much oh, magic. It works. Points. Uh it's this is an essence versus essence roll. Oh now that's fucking brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, so uh, let's let's figure out the odds real quick. Pete, what is your rotten essence? Thirteen. And Chris, what is yours? Eighteen. So that's a difference of five. Pete, you need to roll a twenty-five or less. Good luck. Mm -hmm. We're all counting on you. But if you make it, you get a check in essence for resisting the evil Chris Tacos. Wah, no. wah. I've already got a check in essence. Okay, uh, and you counterspelled his dagger trick, I believe. Yeah. Okay, um, Pete, give me a, a a luck roll, please. Lower is better. Uh, luck. Uh, by seventy. I'm uh, sorry. By it falls to that? the floor uh, next to you. Fifty-nine or something. Your dagger falls on the floor next to you, rather than disappearing into the void as it may mm -hmm. have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chris, you're you're now thinking I don't want to teach him this spell because it'll be a counter spell, and you may lose something really nice that is fucking burning a hole in your pocket, so to speak. You want to use it, give in to it. You know you want to. You don't know the power. Oh, sorry. Anyway, um, 
Look at Chris. I'm resisting. Oh, speak. Um, had had you gotten yourself some um miscellaneous trash magic items? I put my hand in my pocket. I come out looking like Liberace. I put it back in my Beautiful. pocket. <laughs> Lovely. You've got yourself covered. Good. I don't have any magic items, so I'm not that concerned. But... Yeah, I'm good. I don't. That was the I other got thing. That. I got that yeah, when we'll... I dropped off the 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 gem. Oh, the gem. In the, yeah, because yeah, we had been about doing that a while ago. Hmm. Lovely. That's a great way to give Pete a check in uh, essence. I can see you practicing that spell every day on him and him getting an attempt at a check in essence and never being able to hide a weapon on himself ever again. Well, it's a good way for me to get my spell up. It's a good way for him to get a check in essence. It's a good I was going to say, it's a yeah. win for everybody's spell, absolutely, except for Pete. Well, uh, and you just have a trick. regular dagger, right? Nothing special, because you can't. Yeah, no, no. You can't trick like a, a special dagger anyway, right? Don't know. I haven't gotten one. Oh no, sorry. I did get one, which I lost almost immediately to Magic Item Goes Bye Bye card. Mm. Ah, okay. So we'll have to work on that. That's the one that like hit as hard as a sword does, right? Uh, depending on the realm. Right. Yeah, low magic, high magic. Oh, I thought no you magic. still had that. That one went quickly, right? Nah. Yeah, that no, that disappeared very quickly due to magic item goes bye bye card. Okay. As in very very next session. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that quickly. As in, ooh, nice. I got a a magic dagger. Ooh, look, one magic cat. Bye bye. It's gone. Yay. Yeah. It works Actually, for everyone. Yeah. There's a couple of items I need to collect in. Beastkin world anyway that I haven't been able to go back and get, such as my um, dragon skin duster. Your dragon skin duster. Yes. <laughs> and, and by duster, I don't mean a implement used by a cleaner. I do not mean that. I mean I Western. That, though yeah. that did pop in my mind. For yes, I know. I just, what I, would I just what I would clarify because some people might think it, I meant that. No, it is. I mean, if it was no, Alex I did Kinley. Not picture your character in a French maid's outfit. I no, totally no. did. Totally if did. It was, if it was Alex Kinley, With, then like, yes, that would poten the... potentially more likely be a dragon skin duster. And the feathers are like yellow and reds, so it looks yes. like flame. <laughs> so yeah that's great uh that tattoo did we want to go and see if any of the staff upstairs have got one or we did just we want to jim Pete, can yes. you move your mic just a little further away from your mouth? Because you moved it a little closer. Sorry, I was just moving it when I'm drinking. You're not allowed to so drink. I so I don't bash it. We like you to have you bash it. And sometimes you suck on the end of the microphone for a while unconsciously to get the tea off. It's great. Mm -hmm. You guys are standing in the basement. There's a dagger laying at uh, Joshua's feet. Yes, and... I, is that a dagger I see before me? For a fucking theater actor, he's not really into it, you're thinking. 